Okay, got the uh, little Murray up in the air. I'm being supported by a big tree, or fair sized tree branch above it. That branch will be eventually be going away, but use it while I have it. Um, the crank pulley actually came loose. It will actually come off. I'm not going to take it off because I need some uh, points of leverage when it comes time to try to free up this engine. The deck, it's shot. I'm not even really going to try and save it. The idea with this machine now is actually uh, to use it as um, for the Deutz um, blade I have. Potentially. Either this or the uh, Cub. Um, this one could handle it. I don't think this machine would actually have any problems handling that because this does have the heavier front end. The way you check on these is if you have these four bolts right here on each side, you got the heavier front end. So this machine does have the uh, heavier front end. Some water came out of the machine at the back. No oil's leaking. Uh, the crankcase is still full of oil and it's going to stay that way. So the next plan is to spray down this cylinder. It definitely doesn't look nice, but to be honest, I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, a lot of the scale actually did come off when I was wiping it, and that's actually not a bad thing. So I'm hoping I can actually clean it up and it might be okay. So fingers crossed that that actually does work out. As you can see, I, just re I completely removed the carburetor just to get it out of the way. Um, the exhaust, obviously, I took that off earlier. A lot of the parts are being stored in the uh, tent shed behind me. So, um, Other than that, not too, too bad. This thing was definitely uh, fun to get up in the air. I do got to put a zip tie right here just so this doesn't um, come loose too easily. I'm probably going to move the strap to the middle so I can uh, wrap my zip tie around there. Because this will probably be up like this for a good week, um, soaking. And then I'll come out here um, every couple days or, yeah, every day or so, actually, and uh, try and move the engine. So as soon as I can get a full rotation, I'm just going to rotate it and keep on lubricating it as I rotate it. And we'll go from there. The starter on this is actually broken, so I cannot use the starter. So you can see the uh, connector that goes to the brushes has completely ripped out of the starter. So I cannot use that to turn over the engine, unfortunately, but I can just turn it over by hand, which will be perfectly fine. I do have a starter for this. It's just a matter of pulling it off of uh, a junk engine. Not a big deal. So there's where we are on this for as of right now. Like I said, this is the way it's going to probably sit for about a week or until the uh, engine frees up. Even if the engine does free up, I'm probably gonna leave it like this just to continue to rotate it so I can um, make sure I'm getting full full good, good rotation. I might pop this off with a pan underneath it and drain what's in it for oil. Uh, we'll see. If it's, if it's really hard to turn, like I said, like biting up in the bottom end, I will. Um, but yeah, that's the only real way, only real time I'll actually drain the oil. So I do want to keep any lubrication in the bottom end that I can have. So, like I said, next step is to spray this. And, oops, there we go. And yeah, um, hopefully the spray will get down around the rings. I might spray PB Blaster first. Just do a nice coating of PB Blaster so that will soak down around the rings and then go in with my uh, rust release. But like I said, I got to move this first. I don't want it falling once I get that stuff in there. I do plan on filling it all the way up to the top with um, solution. And then I'm going to uh, probably put a bucket over top of this. Probably that uh, Home Depot one right there. And that will keep all moisture pretty much out of the engine. So... Anyways, that's uh, how I'm going to do it, and uh, hopefully it works out. The strangest thing about this entire process, I did an engine from a Scott's machine about two years ago, two, two maybe three years ago now, just after we moved in here, and just about all the head bolts snapped off. This machine here was definitely sitting in a lot worse uh, situations. Nothing broke. Uh, the... Uh, Exhaust studs all, exhaust bolts all came out. The carburetor bolts all came out. Everything. The only casualty I had was uh, the positive for the backfire prevention solenoid.
that's it and that's an easy fix so pretty good and also while i'm letting it soak that deck will come off as well and like i said it's it's junk so i guess that's uh pretty much it so talk to me later please keep it redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment